All right, we're back now with Dr. Darian, who yes. is in this afternoon for Dr. Jan. Always good to see you. And uh, there's a new article out in the Washington Post that talks about how the origins of Parkinson's disease may lie in the gut. A fascinating discussion. It, it, it's reigniting uh, studies that we've seen before. Mm -hmm. So Parkinson's disease is a progressive movement disorder that unfortunately does not have a cure, and the main management is basically treating symptoms. Now, in this new study, they found that those who were suffering from Parkinson's disease also had signs or related signs in their, or abnormalities in their gut and so one of the only ways that we can obviously tell if someone has Parkinson's disease is on autopsy when we look at the brain and we can see abnormal accumulations of protein and in these studies they found the same abnormal accumulations in the gut of those who are suffering from Parkinson's mm. so it provides opportunity maybe more studies will help us identify patients earlier on get them treatment faster so that we can slow the progression of their possible diagnosis in the future there are a lot of gut issues that people have so yes. if you have a gut issue is there something you can do to make sure that you're not one of those people later it's, inter road. it's interesting that you say that because in other studies we've seen that those who suffer from irritable bowel disease, for example Crohn's disease or chronic constipation, are at an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease, which unfortunately we're still trying to understand why, but in certain studies they found that those who treated the irritable bowel disease, specifically with certain types of anti-inflammatory medication regimens, had a decreased risk of developing Parkinson's disease. So it's just a, a, an important reminder that if you have discomfort, if you're having chronic constipation or chronic issues with your gut, talk to your provider, get treatment. Uh, it might help to not only help your symptoms, but also help with your future. Definitely keep it on your radar. Keep it on your radar. I think as we begin to get more and more information, we're going to hopefully understand a little bit more. Um, but right now, we're still trying to get to the bottom of why this is occurring in the first place. That the answers lie in the gut. Yeah. All right, Thank <laughs> you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.